This is the police! You're under arrest! Five five eight fire, fire priority. It looks like the vehicle may be kitchen fire. So right now we're on a traffic stop. This deputy stopped him here. It looked like he was going about 80 miles an hour on the avenue. He decided to write him an infraction for his speed tonight. So he was just issued an infraction. He's on his way. Okay, cool. Is this your vehicle, sir? I'll tell you what, man. I'll take your word for it. Just next time, try to have a copy available, okay? So just a warning tonight, obviously, okay? So uh, stay safe, all right? You do the same, man. All right. Yeah, and you have a good night, Red. <laughs> Uh, so right now I'm going to contact a Hispanic male uh, about a vandalism that occurred at his property. Bueno, es Marco. Okay, soy trabajo con el Pierce County Sheriff's Department. Uh, the individual stated that his tools were stolen, but they weren't actually his tools, and it ended up being a verbal argument between him and his nephew. Uh, he has no proof that his nephew stole his tools. Um, so he wanted us to go just based off of his word, uh, which again, with everything going on, just didn't make sense. I tried telling him that um, if his nephew were to call in and say that he broke the law as well, would he want me to just go based off of his nephew's word? And of course he stated no. Deputy Arceo with Pierce County Sheriff's Department. Hey, so we're doing an area check. We don't see anything. There was no description of the individual though. Do you happen to know if she got a description? So right now we're in the area of uh, shots fired, no known victims at this time. We've contacted multiple residents here who are just frustrated and scared to be quite frank about all the shootings going on in the area. We consistently have calls about cars popping shots off, whether it be in the air or at residences. And you know, it just, it sucks. Um, just having to live in an area where you're consistently being shot at at home. Negative will be coming to a stop here, 155th Street South. If you have a picture of your ID, go ahead and show it to okay, me. Yeah. I don't have, I have a warrant under Shahalas for a misdemeanor, but I don't have any other warrants. Okay. Can you run a trip permit? Uh, misdemeanor of Centralia, but they won't take it. So I'll try one more time to confirm, but it's for possession of a stolen motor vehicle, so I'm assuming no. Do you have your gun on you today, man? My gun? Your gun on you? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. We're here on Pacific Avenue with the Washington State Patrol just providing assistance to them. It's a vehicle off of the roadway. The troopers conducted their investigation and found probable cause to place the driver under arrest for DUI. I was dispatched to a domestic disturbance that was possibly physical. Um, there was a dresser in the front lawn. Okay, so uh, at this point you are detained, right? Just because I'm trying to figure out yeah. what's going on. I got to interview her as yeah, well, okay? So if you're cool with it, I'm a uh, It turned out it was just a bunch of verbal arguing between uh, a male and a female. Okay. So, uh, sometimes they come out as possibly being physical but a lot of the times it's just arguing. We were able to separate the two, confirm nothing physical happened, and we were able to provide them both with uh, great resources that they could contact other people. The male said that he was gonna have his brother come pick him up uh, so he could stay away from the evening, and the female uh, stayed inside a residence. So it was a pretty typical night for Central Patrol. We responded to various different calls from shots fired to domestics. We didn't have anything too crazy tonight, but there's always tomorrow. So we'll be looking forward to that. Not every day is fast and high speed, but just a few days after we rode with Deputy Arceo, he tried to catch up to a vehicle that was going over 90 miles per hour on Pacific Avenue. Take a look. Five, five, eight. One at gunpoint here. He's stuck inside the car this time. It's on its side. A firm to Hosmer, I believe. This is the police! You're under arrest! Five, five, eight. Fire, fire priority. It looks like the vehicle may be kitchen fire.
Hey, are you inside? The police! I don't see any flames visible anymore. I got them extinguished. I believe he's still inside though. Hey man, we see you. I know, it's me. Okay, make your hands visible right now. Both hands. I know. I can't get my other hand up yet. Give me a second. Who else is in there with you? Another male. Both hands. Both hands. Both hands. Who else is inside the car? If you want an individual. All right, man, just get on the ground. Get on the ground for me. Face away. Turn around. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Any injuries you know about, man? Um, We're gonna have a fire. Take a look. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir.